Hey everybody and welcome to episode 14 of Let's Build Minecraft. Just been fishing. Uh, here's here's what I've got. Just trying to get some uh, enchanted stuff because I think it's kind of fun to try to get that stuff. I got that and then a bunch of fish. And I tried enchanting some rods to get uh, Luck of the Sea, but I only got Lure. And I don't really need these. I, these are for... Invisibility potions, I think, right? We're in single player. No need for those. <laughs> uh, how are you guys today? We got a pretty... We got something fun today. I'm excited for what we got today. Uh, first, I did more of this roof. It's not completely done. The back isn't done. See, I, I use these uh, dirt blocks to... Line it up so that the hay the hay has to be placed sideways. Uh, what else? I I've done a lot of farming wheat. That was about I got about a stack and a half. And from last episode, yeah. So I still got about half a stack left. So I used about another stack on that roof. So it takes a lot of hay, but you know. I think it'll be worth it. It's something that I can do in my downtime. I have this little hole down here. Let's see if we can find it right there. I go down there and then I'll wait for a while and let this all let this all grow in and then it gets me about two or one and a half uh stacks of hay blocks. Can I get up here? And like forty potatoes. <laughs> uh but what are we doing today? We have uh, a nicer build. I've I've planned this out already in creative, and this might be well, it will be a few part project. What we're going to be doing is a windmill, and this episode is going to be a little bit more of a tutorial style. I'm actually going to do the building on camera and sort of walk you through it. It's about time to sleep, and after that we can get to work on this. So. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I've worked out the layout of what we're doing. And the reason I like this windmill so much is there's kind of two parts to it. There's a section underneath the windmill, which is the part that we're going to be doing today. And the part underneath serves as an area for a stone mill, which is driven by... Whoops which is driven by the uh, windmill. I set out the right amount of stone blocks and then I screwed it up. So we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna run, nope, not those. We're just gonna run these. You can't jump up on those, can you? Let's get some dirt for us to pillar up on. Then this is the shaft, which is going to run all the way up. Oh, once you're on them, you can. Okay. It's going to run all the way up through the building. But for now, this height will be fine. The next part that we're going to do is place down stairs along this, uh, you could call it a rim, I guess. And that's going to give you some depth here to show you that it's kind of inset into the ground. And that's another thing that I like about this part of the this section of the build. It's got a lot of depth because to get into it in the first place, you're going to have to step down. It's going to be set down. And then see, we can see down there, it looks like a turning wheel. That's the look that we're going for. Next thing that we're going to do is place three high pillars on all of these sections right here. And if you want to see the actual shape of the circle that I'm building in, I'm going to step back and look right here. I'm doing this build in even, so we have a four wide section there, two blocks. Actually, that's a bad side to look at because I dug that out. Four blocks, two blocks. Two blocks going the other way, four blocks. Same thing repeated around except for the entrance right there, which we'll get to. And we're putting these pillars on the 
outside blocks of those sections of two. Now we're going to round off all these pillars with stairs like that. And now we're going to uh, work on this entrance part right here. We're going to bring out not like that. The reason I'm not using the shovel is it tears away the dirt a little bit faster than I want, but we're going to bring that part out a little bit. Bring those up. Actually, I want those up one more. And then this right here is going to be stairs. Missing one one set of stairs. Uh, where did I put my crafting bench? I thought I put it over here. And I did. Uh, let's just make four. I don't think that we're going to need any for a little bit. And then we can place back, hello phone, can place these back, and there's our entrance. Kind of get a feel of how we're walking down. Now we're going to repeat these, these pillars right here. We're going to repeat them on all of these sides, two out from these pillars. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to pillar on up here. And each of those pillars that we just placed, we're going to cap them off with one stair facing in, like this. And let's see if I can get all the way around. I cannot. <laughs> it was a good try. Now we're going to add an upper rim to this. And we're going to do that by placing stone. Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, placeholder block, one, two, one, two, and then you're back to one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's going to be the same all the way around. All right, now... <laughs> floating block of dirt. Uh, we got a lot of stone here and we're gonna, the bottom part of the build is gonna be a lot of stone. The top part is gonna be a lot of wood. But we are gonna break this up with a little bit of oak wood. So let's pillar back on up. And this four, two, uh, rather let's look at this side, four, two, to four, that rim is going to be repeated up here with oak. Now let me put a temporary placeholder there. This one's going to be stairs. That uh, stretch of four. Let's try not to waste these or just fall down. All right, so we repeated that rim up there. This, these stairs do not need to go there and they do not need to go there. The reason they don't need to go here is because this is going to be all a wooden wall. And this is where you can put, this is going to be where you can put uh, crafting benches or maybe some furnaces, whatever you want, some chests. That's just um, know, a wall. <laughs> now this wall here, this is going to be all stone, just like that wooden one. Now, getting to the end of the top part of this, we still got some work to do on the bottom. Getting to the end of the top part of this section of the build, we're going to add some rafters, and I'm just going to use some oak wood. Now, we're building in an even number, so we can't... Uh, hello, words? We can't just go on and off every other block, so we're going to go... That block's going to have a, a rafter, that block is, and then this one. So we're going to have a space of two in the middle. All this space in between is just going to be spruce slabs. And you can kind of see right here, you get the 
feel that we're going to have when we walk in. Uh, rafters just kind of give a certain feel to buildings. I'm going to put some fence in here, and it would be probably a good idea to replace that with some stone. And we're going to do that to all these corners, just like that. And then I'll put, I think I want to put, how does that look? I'm not sure what I want for filling in these blocks right here. I think that might come with the next part, but I'm not really sure. We'll get back to that, but let's fill in these, these uh, fence. Just a note, there's going to be a lot of terraforming, and it's it's almost nighttime, but there's going to be a lot of terraforming around this build in particular. I want this whole section right here to be wheat. I have plans right here for there to be walls, so there the wheat fields are kind of layered. It's going to give a pretty cool look, I think. Let me go sleep, and then we can get to finishing up that part of the build. Next thing that we need is an entrance to the actual windmill, which, if you can picture it, it's going to be pretty big. But this will be like the main floor of the windmill. This is kind of like a raised basement, kind of think of it as as that. Um, this pillar, this pillar is going to have to go. And I think some of these blocks are as well. Maybe that pillar we're going to get to that but let's start the stairs can I grab these not yet <laughs> let's start the stairs right here and make them too wide let's get some dirt to build on I pulled this back a little bit so we could have some more room because I was bumping into that but this area right here we're gonna make a sort of covered it's going to be a storage area and we're going to put some hay in here just for decoration but let's pull this out and let's get rid of that stair not sure where that went and let's do that for now let's also fill that up so this is the basic shape that we have but we're going to make this look nicer okay the way that i'm going to do this is let's place a block like this um half slab half slab full block with a half slab okay yeah this design's a little bit uh more intricate so I'm getting a little caught up here but let's Place that there, get our stairs out. We're going to kind of make this look like a rounded hole here. I'm going to place a stair there. And then let's place another. How does that look? Something just came to my mind. This is not the floor that we're going to be on. This we're going to replace, I think, with spruce wood. This needs to come up one more, and I don't have the block for it. Okay, that's fair. And then that means that this, this is a stair, I think. Yep, that has to stay. This needs to go. That might go. And then, oops, there. All right, now we're going to curve out or round out this half, so let's put a half slab, a stair, an upside down stair, please, and then what if we do that? I do like that. Looking at the back of this wall, I'm going to add a little bit of detail like that. Looks like a bit of a column. We're going to need another stair. <laughs> and then one more stair right there. 
So you can see how we have rounded shapes going this way. And then we have rounded shapes going this way. And we can store quite a bit of stuff in here. This spot right here, I'm going to fill in with oak wood. Yes. Um, if we look at that from the inside, hmm, we could block this whole bit off. Yeah, let's just cover that up so there's nothing but stone in there. Detail for this section is going to come a little bit later. This is going to have to be moved back to um, this whole section right here is going to have to be terraformed. Not really working with this the way that is right now. But let's go ahead and fill this in with spruce planks. Okay, so we got that filled in. Looks much better now. There's going to be fence along this, but I think that's going to be part of next episode. Uh, this needs to be fixed right here, and that's a full block, it looks like. So can we just place this pillar on up here? Can I just place, yeah. Okay. Let's step back and see how we, how or if we like that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see with this uh, texture pack. We can actually look at this in without the texture pack and see what it looks like for those of you who are not playing with texture pack and maybe want to build this in your own world. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I'm using the texture pack, but I think it looks great without it. As I'm not using any, like, special blocks I wouldn't be using otherwise. Um... Looks maybe a little bit more plain, the stone. If I were building this in a uh, normal texture pack, I'd maybe break it up. Uh, and I might put like mossy cobblestone near the bases. Or not cobblestone, but mossy stone brick. Uh, I think that'll come in the later part of detailing if we need it. Uh, we'll see how that works out. One last thing I want to do is put some fence right there. All right, so that's pretty much the bottom section of this windmill, stone uh, mill. Is that what you would call this? Just a stone mill? Uh, we, we're going to do interior down here and detailing over here later on that'll be uh final stage detailing oh final stage deal detailing will probably be terraforming around this thing because this isn't working <laughs> the way that we got this right now i also need to get some pumpkins whoopsies did i get a seed for that got two seeds uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we need to get some jack-o'-lanterns to light this up. Because when I'm sitting uh, AFK and just letting this grow, and it all grew while we were building, so that's cool. I can get another good bit of hay and finish that up. And then put the hay over here for detail, so it looks like storage. Um, I got off track. What was I saying? Anyway, yeah. I like how this episode went. I haven't done the editing yet, so I have no idea how long this episode's been. This might be a super short episode. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because I've been building for a while, but uh, I think a good bit of it's going to get cut out. So this might be a pretty short episode, but I, I think that these episodes are a welcomed thing every now and then having an episode where I really show you how I'm building, what I'm thinking, and you know, how I even start a structure like this. Because looking at this, it looks like a mess of pillars and shapes and stuff, and it can be kind of hard to figure out where to start on that. So this kind of shows you how I figure that stuff out, where where I begin. Cause, and 
even when I planned it in creative, I began with a circle on the ground. And then, you know, I had, I knew I wanted to do a windmill and I thought, well, well, if it's turning this thing. So I put this thing in the middle and then I just built around it. And I knew I didn't want the whole thing to be wood because then it would be just too plain. So I have had a section like this and I, I Googled too, and I saw other people's builds where they were using like cobblestone uh, bases and stuff. So I kind of took it to another level from what I saw. But yeah, that's more or less this part. The rest of it's probably going to take two more episodes if we keep going at this rate. But maybe I'll just really crank out the last one next, the last part next episode. Who knows? Um, off camera, I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of like experience uh, grinding. I go to the nether and get some experience and fishing. Fishing gave me quite a few levels. Not a ton though. Um, I'm getting a lot of fish, which I don't really need. I don't really want them because <laughs> I'm not going to eat them and I don't really want ocelots. Maybe at some point I'll have some cats sitting around just for, I'd hate to call pets decoration, but I mean, kind of. They're kind of annoying though, although I think I have I have all volume very low, but I have friendly creatures <laughs> super low because you know my sheep and my chickens are very loud in their in their pits, but I've also been preparing and enchanting diamond armor because a few episodes we ran into on accident the uh end portal which was exciting but pretty soon we're gonna have to you know it's it's in my mind to go and fight the dragon and we are in 1.9 well right now we're in 1.9 pre-release 2 last episode if you saw we had a bunch of bugs that was in 16w02a or whatever it was called i'm hoping that being in this pre-release fixes those but uh, we're effectively in 1.9. I think the launch date for 1.9 is a week from today. Today is the 23rd. The 29th, I think, is the day that I heard that it was rescheduled to because it was going to be released earlier this week, I think. But, um, yeah, going to have to start preparing for that fight and also wither fights at some point. Uh, when I get to a town that I'm planning, that's going to be a big major project. I'm talking like a single huge build as opposed to a bunch of buildings. Um, I think I'm going to want beacon wherever we go to do that. So we're going to need fancy armor for that. And I started enchanting and I did this over at my base, which is at the other town, which is down that way. But I got like unbreaking three on a diamond chest plate, uh, which kind of sucks. But I'm gonna try to get better, better stuff on books. I have a book with thorns two, and I think one with protection three, so I can throw those on eventually. Um, they have the new dragon's breath for the ender dragon. If anyone can tell me if that the damage of that is affected by. Uh, fire resist that would be great to know because I think I have a book on that um I do have protection three leggings I think and I have these boots which are fire protection but other than that they're not really fighting boots I don't have protection I, don't, I wish I, I need fire or I need feather falling for the rest of this project because this this is a bit uh, a big build it's gonna be pretty tall and if I fall I could pretty easily die I think <laughs> that'd be another thing to get Elytra would be really nice and those are changed now so that they activate on pressing space so they don't activate when you're just running around and jump like that which would use up durability so that's something that I'm really interested in having now uh having those to just fly <laughs> around um it's just I've tested it out in 
and uh, just give them myself in a creative world and test them out. And they're super fun. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is new. Seeing your own body and what you're holding, that's never happened before or it's never been a thing before. And also boats are new, and I thought they were broken. See, you can... Uh, the way that they were, A, D, and if you pressed A and D together, it would go forward. But it's not going anywhere. Well, they changed this a lot. W actually makes you go forward now, and you kind of drift around. And I like this change a lot more than the A and D. That was kind of hard to maneuver around. But I think they finally got... Ooh, you can back it up, too. I think they finally got boats in a good place. So thank you, Mojang. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, these squid are super ugly. I said that the other episode... But this red is just too much. Get out of here. They're probably like falling in here and dying. I'm probably gonna have a bunch of ink sacks in there. But I don't think that I do at the moment. Shoot. Got like one experience for that. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna collect this hay probably. Maybe. I don't know. And then I'm gonna get to planning for this next section. Uh, I really am enjoying building like this and like we did this episode. So before we go, I actually do want to do one thing. I want to use up this just a little bit and we don't have to. Let's cheat a little bit. Um, I want to place these randomly. Um, let's just put that there. Because it, it just doesn't look right if you have them all facing the right way. Um, or the same way. Because there isn't a right way. Uh, that there. See, we saved a little bit of space. And then I like to do this to make it look like it's hay falling on the ground. If you've ever, if you've ever messed around with hay or been in a hay barn, you know that there's hay all over on the ground. Kind of like that. And then we're going to mix in some coarse dirt. And I actually have some coarse dirt. Mix in some like this. I'm going to leave that grass just to leave some color in. And then do we have gravel? Do I have gravel? I'm not seeing gravel, but I might just be blind. Uh, and then we're going to mix in gravel. And then that coarse dirt and gravel and then possibly leaves are going to be like our pathway for this town. Did I do that over here? Yeah, I did. You see how I use leaves here? I like it. Um, if you guys don't like it, then let me know. Because I've never really seen anyone do this before. And maybe it's because it looks awful and I have no taste. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it for today. This is what we built. Part 1 of probably three um come see come back and see how how the rest of it turns out uh if you liked it then leave a like and subscribe thank you bye